What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to run the all new Trident Horizon through the Surface Gauntlet. Now, normally this ball comes out of box at a 4000 grit laser scan sand. For this video, I went ahead and did it with a polished finish and I'm going to show you guys on the lanes what it rolls like. And then I'm going to hit it with a 4000, 3000, 2000, 1500, 1000 and 500. So you guys can see what the big difference is between this ball is with all the different surfaces. Just because you don't like the ball motion of the ball with the out of box finish, doesn't mean that you're stuck with it. You can always change the surface so that you can get the desired ball motion that you are looking for. If you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and give it a like and hit that subscribe button. It really helps my algorithm the more you guys are liking and especially the more you guys are subscribing to my channel. And then down below in the description, I have a link to my Patreon. I invite each and every single one of you guys to come and join me in my Patreon. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite surface prep is on your favorite bowling ball and why. So this first horizon we're gonna take a look at is with the polish. So I went ahead and put the Motive Power Gel Polish over the top of the out of box finish, which is 4,000. So this is 4,000 with polish. We're gonna see how it plays with polish and then we'll work our way down, all the way down to 500. So this first shot here, I'm standing at around 25. Remember, I do drift to the right quite a bit. Now, I really like the way that ball rolls with polish because it glides through the front part of the lane. And because the RG in that core is very high, it does want to produce quite a bit of motion down lane. Now it's still going to be less motion than say a Jackal Flash, but way more motion than it does with that 4,000 finish. I'm going to throw a couple more shots with the polish just to really establish where on the lane I want to play with this ball before we start changing surfaces. Now, the one thing I do want to say before I throw my next shot with this Horizon is that this is going to be the third MXC cover ball in a row that I really like the way it rolls with the polish. The Jackal Legacy rolled really good with the polish and so did the Forge Flare. And now this one as well, even though this is MXC hybrid, it still has that MXC base and it rolls really, really good with the polish. So if you're looking for like a bigger ball that's a little bit cleaner, more shape, you might want to look at this one with polish. Yeah, I mean, the ball's running over the eight pin. Those are two really good shots that I've thrown in a row. And I gotta say, I'm a big fan with the polish. Now, if you're not, cause I'm bowling right now in a typical hot shot that has a lot of friction to the outside, which is why the polish looks so good. So if you're not bowling on a very high friction surface, maybe the polish won't be for you. But if you are on the high friction surface, definitely take a look at this ball with polish. So I really like where I am with this ball with polish on the lane. I'm just gonna show you guys one more shot with the polish, first two shots looked really good. So we got a good thing here with the polish. Yeah, I mean, that's silly uh, how good that goes through the pins. So now I'm gonna take you guys to hit it with a 4,000 finish. So the first thing I like to do before hitting a ball with surface, especially on scene like we are right here, is make sure I wipe all the oil off the ball with your favorite chamois. I use, uh, double motive uh, chamois there. Then we're gonna start with 4,000. I'm using the CTD True Cut pads, but you can use any uh, ball sanding pads, Aberlons, uh, Mica pads, any of them. So what I like to do is take the logo side and go up and do little circles around. Now, the one thing you're gonna notice when we get on the lane is that there's not gonna be a big difference between the polish and the 4,000 because we're not making a very big footprint in the, uh, on the cover. So once you do the logo side up, I like to flip it and do the other logo. And I do it this way, that way I know I get the entire circumference of the bowling ball. And I'll flip it over one more time and do the grip side up. And again, just tiny little circles, not a lot of pressure. Just make sure we get the whole circumference of the bowling ball. And this is just the way I like to do it. If you have a preferred method, you can do it that way. This is just the way I like to do it. So then I'll take the grips down and do it one more time. And then just make sure, like I said, you get the whole circumference of the bowling ball. Then once you're done, you're gonna to wanna to use some ball cleaner. Again, this can be any ball cleaner. It doesn't have to be this one that I'm using. I really like the Motive Amplify, Amplify Cleaner. You can get a hand of it. 
And the reason we use cleaner is so that we get any excess dust off the ball, that way we don't redistribute it onto the lane. All right, guys. So this is gonna be the first shot with the Horizon at 4,000. Now, the one thing I didn't mention to you guys is that the first shot coming off a new surface will always be from the same spot that I just struck from with the previous surface. So I just struck with the polish from 25. So this first shot of 4,000 will be from 25 so that we can see the differences between the polish and the 4,000. And then I'll make any adjustments on the lane if needed. Again, 4,000 and polish will be very, very similar. And I typically don't polish my bowling balls. I typically keep them at this 4,000 finish here. So I expect them to be very similar, just a little smoother. So actually, I got it in a little, but the polish struck from there when I missed in a little. This actually picked up quite a bit more. So on the next shot, before I move my feet, I'm just gonna make sure that I get my eyes going a little bit more to the right. And we're gonna try that again. All right, so again, I'm not gonna move my feet left quite yet. I'm gonna stay in the same spot, just make sure I get the ball going to the right before I make any kind of crazy move. So again, still at 25, make sure I project the ball a little bit more to the right. Yeah, I got the ball more to the right, but it still picked up a little bit earlier than the polish, hooked a little bit more and left a four pin. So off that four pin, I'm gonna move like two and one left. So coming off that four pin, I'm gonna move two and one left, meaning two of my feet left, one of my eyes left, and hopefully the ball will go through the pins the right way. Because it hooked a little too much from that 25. So now I'm at 27. I missed left again, but because, I'm, because I moved left of my feet, I caught more oil in the middle part of the lane, got the ball to push a little bit more and went through the pins. I'm definitely gonna have to be better as far as my execution, making sure I get the ball going to the right a little bit more. So now we're gonna go to 3000. So this is gonna be the first shot at 3000 and the one thing I'm noticing already from this ball is that the cover is so strong that once you, once you knock that, that shine off or the polish that I put on it, it really starts to make the ball hook even earlier. But I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. So this first shot is gonna be at 27, just like I left off with the 4,000, but really make sure I get it going to the right. So I looked really good. I kind of missed it at the bottom. My execution is, uh, is pretty bad right now. So I'm gonna throw another shot from that same spot, just really make sure that I come through it at the bottom. So this will be one more time here with the 3000, just really trying to throw a better shot from the last one before I make a move. So same 27. That was a really, really good shot off my hand. Um, and it hooked quite a bit more. So I'm actually gonna make another like two board move left. And hopefully the cover's not too strong that it'll roll out. Hopefully it'll still keep going through the pins. So this is gonna be hopefully my final shot at the 3000. I'm gonna move two and one left, which should put me around 29 with my feet. But remember, I do drift to the right. So even though I'm starting at 29, I'm finishing around 25, 24. Hopefully this will go through the pins just like I'm looking for. Yeah, absolutely perfect shot. 3,000 for me right now is really good at 29 on my feet to start. So now from 3,000, we're gonna go to 2,000. And this is where we're gonna see the biggest differences from pad to pad, because now is where we're gonna be creating the biggest footprint on the lanes. So far, I gotta say my favorite surface was 3000. I really liked the way it got through the front part of the lanes, really read the friction and didn't over jump it, went through the pins the right way. This is gonna be the first shot with the Horizon at 2000 from the same spot we left off at 3000. See how good this looks. 2000 is typically my favorite surface prep overall. Oh. 
Yeah, that hooked really, really early. And that's what I said earlier about the difference between 3000 and 2000 was gonna be the biggest difference between pad to pad. That looked really good, except it hooked, like I'd say a foot or two sooner than the 3000 and really went left. So I'm probably gonna make another big move and hopefully the ball doesn't roll out. I'm thinking like another three left. So off that pretty humongous sp split, I'm going to move another three left, which would put me at 32 with my feet. Remember, I do drift to the right, so keep that in mind. So 32, another maybe like one or two left with my eyes. Yeah, that, that looked really good. 2000 is my favorite so far, uh, hands down. I really like the way it handled the middle oil and it went through the pins pretty damn good. And that's, that's one of the things I like about this Horizon because it has a very high RG core, it doesn't want it to stand up as early as say like a Jackal uh, Legacy or an Alpha Jackal or the Ghost. It really wants it to promote it to get down lane. So I'm really liking this ball and I like it at 2000 a lot. So now we're gonna go to 1500. So of all the videos that I film, these surface videos are always my favorite. Because the one big thing I hear when someone buys a brand new ball, like for example, this Horizon, is that they'll tell me, well, I didn't match up with the ball. But they never ever change the surface of the bowling ball. Now, as you can see, the differences by just changing the surface make the ball completely different. There's no way that you can tell me that the 2000 looked anywhere near like the 4000 or the polish or even the 3000. So that's why I really, really like shooting these videos. Changing the surface is the most important thing that you can do. So again, I'm gonna stay at 32, this time with the 1500, and see if it's gonna still go through the pins. So this is right around the point of the video that I was looking forward to happening. We went from 2000 to 1500 and I stayed in the same spot. The ball still got to the pins, but it ran out of energy completely. So now is about the time that we're actually gonna start moving back right. And the reason we do that is because the more surface you add on the bowling ball, the earlier the ball's gonna be, the less down lane reaction we're gonna get, which is exactly what we're seeing. So I'm actually gonna move like three and one right off the 2000 and hopefully we can kick out that 10 pin. So when we're changing the surface of the bowling ball, this is the prime example of what I mean by we see hook front to back, not left to right. So when you look at this 1500 and a struggle to get to the pocket, left a flat 10, you would think that it's hooking less than it did at 3000 or 2000. But really what's happening is that it's hooking earlier. So when we talk about hook, we talk about it front to back. So I'm seeing this hooking a lot more front to back than the 2000. So from, from 32, we're gonna move to 29. And hopefully that's enough to get it to kick out the 10 pin. Perfect shot. So this is why knowing your equipment is so important and knowing what surface prep is on it. If I stood at 32 and tried to strike from there, I would have no luck. Move that three and one right, and all of a sudden the ball's going through the pins really, really good. So now we're gonna go to 1,000, and I assume and I predict that I'm actually gonna keep moving right as we progress through this video, but we'll see. This is gonna be the first shot here at 1,000. Now guys, really make sure that you're wiping the ball off with some cleaner after you hit the surface. This is basically a little snowball at this point. So we're gonna stand at the same spot we just struck at, which was 29, and see what the big difference is gonna be between the 1,000 and the 1,500. So that actually, hooked quite a bit more. The ball actually shaped a little more than it did at the 1500. It could have been that I was slower, I'm not 100% sure. So on this next shot, I'm gonna move just one left um, off, the, off the 1500 and hopefully that'll kick out that four pin. So that four pin really, really surprised me. I was not expecting it to 
hook that much down lane going down in surface. So off the, I was at 29, I'm gonna go to 30, and hopefully it will not roll out and put us in a weird uh, position here. Yeah, that ball struggled to get through the pins. So actually what I'm gonna do is, even though I struck, I'm gonna throw one more shot with the 1,000 and move like 10 boards right and like really fire it up the lane and see if I can get a better look than that. Cause that, even though it struck, it didn't give me a great deal of confidence. I don't think it gave you guys a great deal of confidence. So one more shot from a little bit straighter. So that last shot with this horizon, I really did not like the way it went through the pins. So I'm gonna make a really big move to the right. I'm thinking like six or seven boards and try to get it a little bit more up the lane. And that's typically where I like to play with these bigger asymmetrical balls with this much surface. So I'm gonna be at around 24 now. Remember, there is a lot of friction to the right, so I don't want it to really bail down lane. Yeah, I really like the way that, that, that went through the lane and through the pins. It didn't want to over jump the friction. It read the middle part of the lane. A lot of control with this piece at that 1000. So now we're going to take it to 500, which is typically a no-go for me. I typically don't hit anything with 500 that's reactive. It's typically reserved only for my, basically just a purple tank. So the 1000 looked pretty good from a little bit straighter. This first shot with 500, I'm actually gonna be way left where I was with the 1000 when it went through the pins kind of weird before I make that move to the right. I just really wanna show you guys that more surface doesn't mean more hook. So I'm here at 32. Make a good shot. So a little paralyzer five pin, but as you can see, I can get to the pocket from there. It just doesn't look that good. And that's not a knock on the bowling ball because all these other surfaces on the horizon looked really good. It's just, you gotta make sure that you're putting the right amount of surface for the right amount of condition. It's like golf. You don't always need a driver. Sometimes you need a putter. I hope that makes sense because it's the best analogy that I can give you guys. So now I'm gonna move back to where I was at the 1000 and struck which was around 24 of my feet going up the lane and see how different it's gonna be. So hopefully this will be the last shot of the video. I really hope that I can execute a really good shot and show you what the big difference between the 500 and the 1000 is gonna be. And if it's not a good shot, I'll throw another one and make sure we end on a good note. So I'm gonna go back to that 23, 24 range where the 1000 looked really good and see how different this 500 is gonna be. So I definitely missed left, no doubt about it. But because it had so much surface on it, it read the middle part of the lane really, really good. And it actually let the ball go through the pins and was absolutely 10 back. So guys, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. I hope to see you next time. Well, there you have it, folks. There's my Trident Horizon through the Surface Gauntlet. Let me know down below in the comments if you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Click right here to watch one of my other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.